These are worm farms and they come in many different shapes and sizes and can cost anywhere from $80 to $300 to purchase. But what if I told you you could make a really good DIY worm farm from materials that they are generally throwing away? So why make a DIY worm farm that can be placed above or below the ground? It's virtually cost free and it's portable so it can be moved around from cool to sunny positions when required. And the end result, lots of nutrient dense, juicy worm casts. And of course, let's not forget compost worms. So let's get started teaching you how to build this two tier DIY portable worm farm. Inside the foam box at the bottom there are holes, so I want to stop the worm from escaping at the very start. I have used here two layers of corrugated cardboard, and then also what I've done is I've placed another layer of egg carton cardboard over the top. But if you don't have egg carton cardboard, newspaper is just as good. It's now time to add the worm bedding. I'm using my own homemade compost here, but you could use aged cow manure, aged horse manure, mushroom compost, cocoa peat. All of them will do exactly the same job, but you need to avoid sort of like a paper bedding at the beginning. We want to have a very structured worm farm. Once the bedding is nice and flat, it's now time to add the compost worms. Around about 500 to 1,000. Look, I've probably got around about 1,000 red tigers here. Look at these. These are a ripper, aren't they? It'll take them anywhere from six weeks to three months to chew all through this bedding, depending on the time of year. Now, they will lay lots of cocoons in here and breed, and so that's why we're going to be talking about the next steps for removing our worms, for creating the second tier. But first, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm going to create a worm blanket out of egg carton cardboard. Now, you could use soaked newspaper or soaked cardboard. It'll work just as good. I really like egg carton cardboard because of the cups, and it allows me to pour water in and for it to soak through slowly. I like to then cover this. Now I'm using cardboard here, but you could use an old towel, cotton t-shirts, blankets, anything like that. But I find that cardboard works really good because I like to keep recycling it back through the worm farm. So how easy is that guys? But it's not over yet, right? We've got to build the part two. We've got to imagine that the worms have all gone through and eaten all the bedding and we're collecting all, ready to collect all the castings, but we need to get the worms out. So what we want to do is migrate them up to the top and we're going to build a second level to do that. It's pretty exciting and I'm going to show you how. And you can build multiple ones of these. I reckon it's a pretty cool worm farm. Let's get into it. You need a piece of shea cloth or something similar to that to separate the second level. Here is a vital tip. Make sure the shea cloth comes up the side of the wall because once the worms migrate in, we're gonna grab that shea cloth by the edges, wrap the worms up, and pull it all out in one go. I'm now going to add the same bedding that's in the base, in the bottom tier, around about two inches, five centimeters thick. I'm now going to add my soaked egg carton cardboard, but you can use newspaper, ripped up paper, ripped up cardboard, anything like that. Just make sure it's nicely soaked and it's damp. Then add your worm blanket, soak it down so it's just nice and moist, not overly wet. Put it in a nice position and underneath the bottom of the worm farm, what you want to do is slide in some newspaper or cardboard. Any moisture that goes down through will get wet on that cardboard and you can use that again in the worm farm as you're recycling. So to entice the worms to the second tier, move away the worm blanket, dig a little bit of a hole, place the veggie scraps in there, around about a handful, and about two days they'll start moving up into the top tier. Cover it over, put a lid on there, keep it nice and moist, and around about two weeks, if you feed it maybe two or three times a week, it's going to be full of worms, and you'll just pull out that top tier and then harvest your castings down below. How awesome is that? you want to learn more about worm farming well we've got cards links in the description everything is right here for you right now so click on one and check out the next video and i'll see you real soon bye for now